The officials of the National Youth Council and the Gambia Red Cross Society were at the receiving end of donated items, which include bicycles and mobile phones, with the sole aim of assisting volunteers to ease their work. Speaking at the handing over ceremony, the Secretary General of the Gambia Red Cross Society, Mr. Alassane Senghor, thanked the health ministry and officials of the UNFPA for what he describes as a timely intervention. He further dilated on the network of volunteers in supporting their respective communities. Locally, we have a network of volunteers across the country from different backgrounds, different uh, experiences, and of course, they are also part of the communities. Being part of those communities gives them a privilege, a position, and an advantage to be able to deliver on the humanitarian services. But at the same time, that the people that they belong to and they work with those are the communities, have some trust and confidence in them. And that enables them to be the frontliners. Frontliners here not only in terms of COVID, but in terms of humanitarian needs or humanitarian assistance. When a disaster strikes, the people who are part of those communities are the Red Cross volunteers. They feel it, they know it, they get the information. And this is how it goes from these communities up to where the information is supposed to reach. And this is where this program that is being launched today is anchored around that. Mr. Kodul Adeni is the country representative of UNFPA. And what do we really intend you know, to achieve by this project? We do intend that definitely there be increased quality uh, disease surveillance and contract tracing in our communities, not only uh, a lot, not, not only in the greater Banjul area or West Coast 1 or 2, but, you know, the other regions of the Gambia, who for many reasons, which is not particular to anybody, might always seem to be left behind in, in development process and projects in the country. Um, we do intend and we understand that this project will bring increased case detection, you know, monitoring and tracking. But for me as a person, most importantly will be, we will have greater community involvement. The people that are in the community will be part of the response to the issues that affect them. There will be better um, um, uh, community education, information, you know, and awareness. Because like Alaji said, the people who are involved in this process, the food soldiers actually belong to those communities. In addition to the gesture, volunteers will also receive a monthly allowance to support themselves at family level. For Paradise TV News, Ali Drabe.